Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net and today I'm going to show you how to set up and configure an FTP server in Windows XP. So let's start. Before we start we need to make sure what we need to install and it's IIS and FTP. So go ahead and click on start, click on control panel. In the control panel click on add or remove programs and then go to add and remove Windows components and here scroll down till you see Internet Information Services IIS and put a check bar next to it before you click next go ahead and click on details and in details put a check mark where it says file transfer protocol FTP service and now you can click OK and then click next you you will probably be prompt to uh, insert the Windows CD in the in the drive like here now in this case it's asking me for a specific DLL if I click OK nothing would happen. I have to browse for that syntax uh, DLL which is obviously in the uh, Windows XP CD. See when I click OK nothing happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and click browse and look for this DLL and here it is. It's in my i386 folder inside the CD but sometimes you may you know encounter something like this you know is on the desktop so how are you gonna look for that DLL just keep in mind you just gotta you know go to the CD drive and then once you are in the CD drive which is the Windows XP here go into the i386 folder and it should be there oops I went I passed I gotta go back here it is and now click and then click open click OK and now another one another DLL so I'm gonna browse it's right here inside the i386 folder again and I'm gonna just double click it and then click OK As you can see, it completed the uh, installation of the IIS and FTP. Click Finish. And now I'm going to close this window here, the Add and Remove Programs. And I'm going to click on Administrative Tools. Double click there. And now click on Internet Information Services which is IIS and here now expand your local computer and then expand where it says FTP sites and here you have your default FTP and as you can see up there the play is already grayed out that means it's up and running now I'm gonna put this folder here test inside of my FTP and inside that folder I have two documents here these are just for testing I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and close and now I'm gonna right click copy click on start go to my computer open my drive C and go to init pub folder and then here go to my FTP root this is the uh, FTP whatever you put in here is in the FTP so I'm gonna paste it and now I'm gonna check to see if it has those directory yes these are for testing I'm gonna go ahead and close 
I'm going to close this too and now I'm gonna refresh my directory should show up but for some reason it's not so no need to worry about it so now let's configure the firewall so we can access our FTP locally so click on start and then click on control panel and click on Windows firewall click on exceptions and here click on add port and then the name is FTP the port number is 21 and leave it on TCP and click OK and then let me scroll down oh, I'm sorry I passed it right here let make sure I have it there okay and then click OK now this is just for you know make sure that we have no issues with the firewall in my case I have it turned off so now uh, go to your Internet Explorer and type FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address of the computer where you're hosting your FTP in my case is 101 192.168.1.101 if you don't know the IP address of the computer where you're hosting the FTP just click on start run type the letters CMD click OK and here type the IP config and click enter sorry IP config And click enter and here it says IP address 192.168.1.101 in my case and this is the one I use here and now I have access to my files that I just placed in the FTP now in case you want to see it differently just go to page and then open an FTP site and I'll give you the folder with icons here you go instead of the other way now this way is a little unsecure it didn't it never asked me for a username and password I'm gonna close here and show you how you can make it a little more secure this way you, you have obviously more security and you have control over the users who access the FTP so now go back and in default FTP site right click and click on properties and here go to security accounts and remove the check mark where it says allow anonymous connections in the warning click yes and click apply and then click OK now when you access the FTP site it's gonna prompt you for a username and password I'm gonna refresh the site and here it is username and password now you can log in or your clients can log in with an assigned username and password which is really great and now as you can see you have access to your directory I'm gonna close all these windows here and I'm gonna show you how to connect from an external IP address so for example if you have your FTP being hosted at the office you can connect from your home to your office to the FTP and modify the folders there now if you don't know the IP address by memory just go to Google and type what is my IP address I'm gonna click on the second link here 
and in my case is a 174 number. This is the external IP address given to me by my uh, internet service provider. Now I'm going to type in, instead of HTTP, I'm going to type FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address given to me by my ISP. And here you go. It's asking me for the username and password. Now I'm going to cancel here. And I'm going to show you how to configure, just like we configured before, the firewall for Windows. We have to configure the router so you can have access to your FTP. Now in my case, I'm using a Linksys router. I'm typing the 192.168.1.1, click enter, and then type your username and password. Once you're in the configuration interface, make sure you go to application and gaming, type FTP, port 21, and you select the TCP, and then your specific computer, 192.168.1.101, in my case, check mark enable and save your settings if I want a little fast please bear with me because I only have 10 minutes for this video I didn't want to create create a version you know one and then a version two I don't like those so thank you for watching if anything please uh, remember you can pause this video and uh, my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions thank you